Hello, this is Scott with Rizzo Controls, and today I'm actually using a developer version of Niagara 4. This is available in other versions of Niagara, just happen to be using 4.15. And this video is about how to set up an outgoing e email account using any instance of Niagara, whether that's a Jace, whether that's a supervisor. And today I have an N4 supervisor running. And where I'll begin is ensuring that my supervisor, or this Niagara instance, has the email service. If it doesn't, I can click and drag the email service from my email palette over my services container. I'll double click the email service to get the account manager view. And I'm gonna add a new outgoing account. The name outgoing accounts fine will be the only one. The host name is going to be important, the smtp.gmail.com, because the account that I'll be using is a Gmail account. Your IT department will typically tell you what kind of authentication you'll need, whether it's no authentication or if it's a basic email client authenticator. The account is what the email account that you'll be using, and today I've set up an app for Scott at RizzoControls.com. Why that app is so powerful is because this is the password is not your normal password. This is an app password that we will get from Google. At the end of this video, I'll show you how we create one. So I'm gonna copy and paste my app password that Google gave me into this. I can use port 587 in this scenario with a poll rate at one minute. To start this, maybe I don't wanna wait an entire minute, maybe I wanna wait like 10 seconds for this email to account to poll so I know that there aren't any issues. I'll click OK and I'll go to the AX property sheet of that outgoing account. What's gonna be important here is the host name's correct, that port is available outgoing, and that we have a status that's OK. If we have a bad status or a down status, we want to look at this failure cause and find out why. Maybe to conserve some bandwidth, I lengthen up this poll right now that we've established some communications and click save. So my last success was at 945 this morning, which is perfect. What I'm going to do to test this account is to right click the outgoing account, hover over actions and click send from, this has to be Scott at Rizzo Controls, right? And two, maybe I send it to info at rizzocontrols.com. Maybe this is your client's email. And maybe I wanna copy myself, All right, Maybe I wanna copy like a text message to somebody's phone. I'll put 1-845-401-9901. And in this scenario, I have AT&T. So we'll see if that goes through. The subject, I'll just write test subject. And for the body, I'll write test body. I'll click OK and the queue size will increment by one. And for proof of concept, here's that email from Scott at Rizzo Controls to our info. So we see that that worked pretty well. Now, how do we get that app password that we need? What you'll need to do is to sign into your Google account and in the Google account, there's the security tab. Under the security tab, I'm gonna go into my two-step verification. It may force you to sign in one more time. After you're signed in, I'll go down to app passwords, hit my next app password, and I already created that app password for my N4 supervisor. If I needed a new one, I'd say a new app password for new Niagara instance. And in this case, I can click create and I get one. You can copy and paste this and this is the app password that we end up putting in Niagara here in the email authenticator. 